When your drag arrives, please make sure that you thoroughly check it over for any damages before signing off to accept the shipment. Next, start by removing any plastic wrapping and banding that's securing the drag to the pallet. The tow bar can be found attached to the top of the drag, and the pins to connect the drag and the tow bar together can be found in the neck of the drag. The correct number of pins to connect your tow bar to your drag are included, but you'll need to provide your own drop pin to hook up your drag to your ATV. Place your tow bar on the ground in front of the drag with the gold turnbuckle side facing upwards. Then, using the pins provided, attach either side of the tow bar to the three-point hitch hookups on either side of the drag. Finally, raise up the gold turnbuckle and secure it to the middle of the three-point hitch hookup in the neck of the drag. The height of the tow bar can be adjusted by turning the gold bar. You'll need to release the keeper at the bottom of the bar before you're able to change the height. Hook up the drag to your ATV and then raise the front end of the drag a little further by continuing to turn the gold bar. You'll want to raise each of the ripper teeth up to the highest hole in order for them to clear the pallet. Next, using the second gold turnbuckle, raise the height of the tine deck to allow it to clear the pallet more easily. Remember to first adjust the keeper at the bottom before you attempt to adjust the height. It can be helpful to have somebody keep the pallet weighted down whilst you slowly pull forward with the drag. When maneuvering the drag outside of the arena, it's designed to be transported on the rear roller with the front wheels and all the teeth raised up off the ground. Once you arrive in the arena, the front of the drag can be lowered back down until the wheels lightly contact the surface. Once you've found the correct height, make sure that you secure the turnbuckle using the keeper at the bottom. The spring tine deck can then be adjusted to the desired depth, followed by the teeth at the front back to their original positions. A shallower tine depth will generally create a firmer feeling to the footing, whereas going deeper will fluff up the footing more and create more volume. Once you've established a depth that you're happy with, you don't need to adjust the tine settings each time you drag. You should use the gold turnbuckle on the front of the tow bar to adjust the height of the frame for transportation to and from the arena, but keep the tines set in the same place. 